Assalamu alaikum wa barakatuh. Welcome with a clip uh, set new video. Today we have a question about trigonometry, a nice one. Uh, but please, before we start, I need you to like the video that will help us to reach more people and uh, share if you can, subscribe. If you have any comment, please do that and turn on notification to find our videos as it uh, published. Okay, here is a question. Uh, find the value of the arc 10 or 10 inverse of one over three plus 10 inverse of one over five and 10 inverse of one over seven, 10 inverse of one over eight. Uh, these are four angles, of course. I need the sum of these four measures if that this or not, pi over two or pi over three. Okay, I will leave you for a, a moment, try to pause the video and then uh, continue watching to watch how that can be solved. Okay, okay, here is the problem. I know that tan inverse is just an angle. Like if you can imagine that you have a triangle, a triangle with uh, angle like A here. And uh, tan, this angle is one over three, so the opposite is one, the adjacent is three. That happens for all these uh, angles. Another angle B here. So tan B is one over five, so the opposite is one, the adjacent is five, and so on for the other two. Let's this one equal C. Let's this one equal D, for example. Now I will add these two tans of angles, uh, pairs by pair, okay? So I will add the first two pairs and the second two pairs, and uh, then see what will happen in the total, okay? Uh, pretty easy. I know tan A is one over three, tan B is that. So what I need to find actually is what is A plus B plus C plus D now. Okay, what angle is this? And um, I will do that by finding the tan of this sum. Okay, first of all, I will find tan A plus B. Okay, what is tan A plus B? It's tan A plus tan B over one minus 10 A, 10 B. I know that A and B was uh, one over three and one over five. The 10 is one over three and one over five, remember? So I'm going to just substitute these values. So 10 A is one over three plus one over five here. And the one minus one over three plus one over five times one over five, sorry. And of course, after uh, simplifying that, I will multiply by 15 up and down that will yield a five plus three up and 15 minus one down, okay? This is five. Uh, so this will be only eight over 14. You can simplify that of course to four over seven. This is the tan for the first two angles. So what is the tan of uh, B? Uh, now C plus D, the other two angles. Okay, what I know here is that tan C is one over seven and one over eight tan D. Same procedure again, but this time was one seventh and one eighth. So one over seven plus one over eight divided by one minus one over seven times one over eight. To simplify that, I multiply each term here up and down by 56, the common multiple of seven and eight. So times 56 here is eight, times 56 is seven, is 56 and one. So that ends to 15 over 55. And again, we can simplify that to 15 over, by, by the way, five, it will be three over 11, okay? Finally, I will find 10 of the sum. What is 10 of A plus B plus C plus D now? I will deal with this angle because I know it's a 10 is four over seven. And the 10 of the other one here is three over 11 we just found. Apply the rule for the third and the last time, it will be four over seven plus three over 11 divided by one minus four over seven multiplied by three over 11. If you multiply each term here by 77, the common multiple of all subdenominators here, it will be 44 here 
times 77 again to be 21 times 77 is one times 77 is just 12. So it will end at 65 up and also 65 down, which is one. So since the tan of this angle is one, that means the angle, what angle with a tan of one, remember? It's by over four. So the answer should be by over four. I hope you enjoyed that video. Please like and subscribe. And if you have any comment, please say that. And see you in the next video. Enjoy. Thank you. Bye-bye.